Hey everyone, it's Rich here from richandniche.com with another video in this Miro series. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to build a digital marketing funnel, visualize one inside of Miro. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right in. This is my whiteboard. It's empty right now. There's nothing here, and that's fine. You know, I always love to just get started with boxes. It's really the easiest way to kind of start building something and it kind of sets the frame of reference of everything. And when you put a box in Miro, you can always type right in the middle or you could leave that out and you could create a separate text box and you know place that wherever you like because if you use the one in the center, well, it's gonna be stuck there. So what I like to do is I'll make a box and I'll give it some color, I'll lighten the opacity. This is gonna be a squeeze page. You know, you're always pretty much starting with squeeze pages. They really generate so much of the action of what we do as marketers. So setting in the squeeze page first can be very logical. Now you're probably thinking, if I'm gonna have a squeeze page, I need a traffic source. What's my traffic source? Let's say it's typical, maybe some YouTube videos, maybe some Facebook posts, maybe some Instagram posts. The best thing I like to do, cause you could just do another box. You could go, you know, Facebook ad, right? But part of what I love about Miro is just the ability to make it look a lot more media rich quickly. And even if it's just icons, coming down here to the three dots, icon finder, and going into, Searching Facebook, clicking on the magnifying glass and grabbing an icon. I love using the icons. I just think it makes it a lot more fun. Now, this is going to link to the squeeze page, so it's a great time to use the arrow. The middle arrow is kind of the nicest, so go ahead and drag an arrow from one icon to the other. And we said we're gonna do YouTube, so let's also get YouTube. Perfect. It loads the icon in the center of the screen, so sometimes you just gotta move it. And if you press L, you can also get the arrow. So we're just gonna link them up there, looking good. If you're gonna have a squeeze page, it probably means you're going to collect email addresses. So, you know, one thing you could do is put a little button here and you could put your call to action. You could put a contrasting color and you could write download. Now, I like to start visualizing some of the copy elements. You might even put a big headline up here, right? How to X, Y, Z. I'm not gonna think of it right now. Looks like the font's a little small, so I'm just gonna raise it up. I think this is a great way to start building out a campaign in your mind when you're responsible for generating ideas, generating planning. This may not be as effective in a huge group or a corporate situation, but even still at the brainstorming phase, why not get a few people in here or you and your client both working at the same time? It can be very powerful. Now, if you got a squeeze page, you got emails. So why don't you come back to the icon finder and grab some emails. Gonna go for this one, looks nice, simple. And let's make it a little bigger. And most likely you're gonna have multiple emails, typically five, so I'm just gonna duplicate that five times. You could leave it like this as a flow. You could put them on top of each other. Maybe there is some segmentation, you know, whatever you need to represent with your emails. And then of course you can always come in here and you can put a little bit more information, you know, subject line. shrink that down so you can see that you can put information at a very micro scale if need be keeping track of it just so you're aware of it but when you move into the high level you know that detail really doesn't become very relevant and so we can keep information in our board but not necessarily distract us at the higher level so maintaining the proper size of your items somewhat important I'm actually going to just undo a little bit and leave it back like this. I'm gonna press shift, I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. I'm gonna press L to link this page to this email. Now if I'm gonna send all these emails, it must mean that I'm gonna send them to another page and that might be a sales page, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and sales page, press L, link these up. And now my funnel is starting to take shape, right? We're starting to get the core pieces, two main pages, an email sequence. You know, you could also come in here and you might grab some text. Maybe you wanna put some tagging information, new lead, something like that. Maybe denote it different by putting a background uh, such as that. You know, you could maybe put something like stars like that. 
just showing that whoever is going to build out this funnel that if the person goes through the squeeze page before they're sent emails, let's tag them as a new lead. You might have something different here, but tagging certainly is something you might want to note as you build out your funnel. So that's really what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how easy it is to use boxes, text, hierarchies, icons, arrows, and how they can quickly become a funnel. Now I wanna show you something a little bit cooler, right? As you build this out, you may have media associated with it, assets, right? And if you're doing full stack marketing, you're definitely working with pages, graphics, some videos, maybe images for Facebook ads. So what I like to do is I, as I progress is I like to bring that media into Miro and start visualizing it. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a demo here using some of my own pages. This is my Academy website. I'm gonna to come to the free mini course. I'm sure many of you have seen it before. And I'm gonna use an app called Fireshot. Here it is right here in my Chrome browser. So go ahead and download Fireshot. When you click it, you can download or you could capture the entire web page. So you go ahead and click capture entire page and it brings you to this. Save as image. Just go into my downloads folder. Come on back to your funnel and just simply drag that image on top of the Miro board. Just like that, your web page has been brought into the Miro board. You'll notice up here when I highlight the image, I can crop it. This is a perfect time to use that tool. Just bring in these sides, not necessary. Making it a little cleaner and we can just shrink it down and we'll just go ahead and place it right here on top. And now we can really start to visualize our funnel and we're gonna remember exactly how this funnel works, right? So we could go ahead and we could do the exact same thing for the sales page. I'm actually not gonna use my typical sales page because it's so long. Um, it will actually kind of look pretty funny if we do. So I'm just gonna grab my home page as an example very quickly. This is a very fast app. That's what I like about it. It can take some time to download a full web page as a PNG file, but not this one. Again, just dragging it down from my browser. You can see this page is a lot bigger. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink it down like that. Place it here. Now, doesn't that look professional? Isn't this something you'd like to work on with your clients, helping them visualize their own funnel? This is something that you know can be one of your signature processes that, hey, if I'm gonna work on your funnel, I'm gonna do your Facebook ads, I'm gonna build this board for you. You can come reference it. They could leave comments, but not edit it. That might be nice. Up here, there's plenty of sharing styles, public, private, team, client, consultant, so that's really what I wanted to show you guys in this video about how I visualize my marketing funnels, even in this basic form, right? I've got ones that are much more complicated. Look at this, booyah. So you can see it can get quite complicated, but isn't it nice to have all this information here um, easily available? So I just wanted to show you guys that as an example, definitely can't go into the details of that campaign. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video on Miro. There's gonna be one more in this series and it's going to be about tracking what you do as a case study. And again, it's very similar to this screenshotting, but I wanna show you guys what I do. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And may the algorithms be ever in your favor.